Hope Village is transforming lives, giving opportunities for families to thrive. Three, two, one, cut. With that, several families were given keys to their new homes. Oh my God! The spacious is nice. This is such a blessing, and it's been a long time coming. So I'm, I'm unspeakable joy. I, I'm truly speechless. They really outdid themselves. It is a lot better than I was even expecting. It feels like home. It's a great space for me and my little son, five years old. Over the years, Brittany Harvin has experienced homelessness. She also lived at the house of Ruth for two years. Just walk you to your house. 1311 is right there. This couple also has a new home. I've been through some hard, hard times. Uh, I've been on the street. Uh, I've been in halfway homes. This is nice. Now Marcel Cox and his wife have a permanent roof over their heads. Each home is 400 square feet and costs $25,000 with affordable financing. All of the homeowners completed financial literacy and budgeting courses. Each house has a bedroom, a sitting room with a pull-out couch. They also come with a well-stocked kitchen and donated furniture. Pamela Wilson and her husband Chris had a vision for this place. First, we were we had a program where we were feeding homeless children on the weekends, uh, where they uh, they didn't have the school uh, food at the, on the weekends. And my husband turned to me one day and said, "We've got to get homes for these people. They have to know where they're going to spend the night every single night." And so they worked with developers, architects, and financial institutions to bring their vision to life. I'm so grateful to um, Chris and Pam for their hearts, their dedication, the motivation, just just the, the consistency and, you know, just for them to have a heart to bless other people with their opportunity to be homeowners. Marcel Cox says he is doing his part to pay for this new home. I'm a truck driver during the day and I do security in the evenings down in um, Fells Point. So um, I'm, I'm working. I'm working hard. Everyone should be able to move in by Thanksgiving. Lisa Robinson, WBAL-TV 11 News.